good morning so let's uh, we have to discuss the topics uh, online as a part of online classes i'm doing this a uh, small discussion on the cholinergics and anti cholinergics topic so before we go into the cholinergics we need to understand a bit of uh, the nervous system inside our body as you know the nervous system is uh, divided into two branches right the somatic nervous system and uh, autonomic uh, nervous system and as we have studied uh, this branching of the nervous system in pharmacology we also understand that the somatic nervous system is mainly related to the voluntary muscle contractions whereas the autonomic nervous system is mainly concerned with some involuntary muscle contractions or say related to the internal organs which is related to the internal environment of the body and uh, this involuntary is also related to the central nervous system so it carries the or it transmits the nerves from the central nervous system to the peripheral organs <coughs> so these uh, from the peripheral organs these are connected to the important organs in the internal biological system like uh, heart lungs viscera and some glands so you can understand the importance of this system because it includes heart and lungs so coming to this autonomic nervous system which is again further subdivided into two types based on the their uh, differences in the anatomy and their functions okay so this uh, ns or the autonomic nervous system is divided into a somatic uh, i mean sympathetic and uh, parasympathetic nervous system as you already know this in pharmacology so there are other than this there are some neurons which are present at the ganglions either the preganglionic or the postganglionic neurons also participate in the nerve conduction and they are also very important in these biological functions so they also play an important role in the Uh, maintaining of the contractions and other functions related to the important organs in the biological system related to the organs which i just mentioned now and, uh, coming to the neurotransmitters which are part of the this uh, process so neurotransmitters uh, include acetylcholine so this acetylcholine which is a important neurotransmitter present in the ans uh, not just ans it is also present in the uh, other uh, junctions like uh, pre and post ganglionic neurons of uh, these ans and even sympathetic also so the parasympathetic uh, nervous system stimulates and that stimulation produces some important uh, changes in the biological system especially in relation to the organs which i just mentioned in the earlier part of this discussion such as slow down of the heart uh, rate heart function then uh, lowering of the blood pressure then 
constriction of the pupils, then uh, increased blood flow, and also peristalsis in the GIT. So these are the important uh, functions, or you can say the changes which are noticed or observed due to the stimulation of the parasympathetic nervous system. That is, I just repeat, slowing of the heart uh, functioning, heart rate, lowering of the BP, blood pressure, constriction of the pupils, increase in the blood flow to the skin and the viscera, then peristalsis in the GIT. These are the normal processes that are absurd in the biological system due to the peristaltic, I mean this uh, parasympathetic stimulation. So I was mentioning about the neurotransmitters. These are very essential for the nerve conduction and uh, this, I mean these neurotransmitters include acetylcholine. Okay. So there are uh, four different neurotransmitters which are categorized in the biological system. Acetylcholine is one of them. Other than acetylcholine, some biogenic amines are present. There are also neurotransmitters which include serotonin and uh, tryptamine. Then uh, excitatory amines also present which are another type of neurotransmitters which includes uh, GABA, gamma aminobutyric acid, glycine, glutamic acid and aspartate. And lastly, uh, neuropeptides are also present which uh, functions like neurotransmitters. So around 50 uh, different types of uh, neuropeptides are absorbed. Okay, so among this, uh, today we are going to discuss about acetylcholine because it's very essential. Although it has got no pharmacological or therapeutic uses, but it has its contribution in the functions, biological functions, different biological functions related to the organs which I just mentioned, like heart, blood flow, viscera, GIT, etc. So this acetylcholine is a, a parasymp present in the parasympathetic nervous system mainly and also some part of sympathetic nervous system that is preganglionic sympathetic nervous system and some sites in the central nervous system where this uh, acetylcholine is present it is widely mm, distributed, widely spread in the autonomic nervous system and uh, as you see it here the structure has got uh, CH3 COO terminal amine that is N, NH3 which is a replacement of hydrogen atoms it has got three methyl groups to that terminal N right CH3 COO CH2 CH2 N CH3 right <coughs> so this uh, structure if you look at it it is an ester that is CH3 COO ester group which is uh, making this as an ester of choline why? Because NCH3, terminal, three molecules of methane or methyl molecules attached to terminal amine are choline part. So it is called as ester of choline or choline ester because of this type of arrangement. And as you see it, it is acetylated at the oxygen atom, right? As you can see it here, acetylated, and it is highly polar because of the oxygen and 
even nitrogen is also there right so oxygen will have O minus and NH N has got plus because it is in the <coughs> quaternary state N has got four attachments right then uh, brief uh, synthesis of this discussion on brief synthesis it is uh, this uh, synthesis flow was given by Bayer in 1867 so we have to understand this because understanding the synthesis will help us to to design some molecules which can be used to inhibit the unwanted functions of a style choline in the biological system in some cases because as it is connected to heart, blood and viscera and even GIT there may be some unwanted functions that are noticed so we need to design some inhibitors sometimes case you know so the flow chart will help us to design so it is very essential for a medicinal chemist to understand the synthesis although it has got no pharmacological applications but let's see the synthesis so in the synthesis as you can see it here the flow chart Right. So it's a reaction between uh, acetylcoate and choline. CH3, CO, yes, COA with uh, H, O, CH3, CH, that is CH2, CH2, N, CH3, thrice. That is choline in presence of an enzyme which is there. Choline, right? Synthetase or transferase. It is transferase, choline acetyl transferase, which leads to the formation of acetyl choline and another byproduct. So, this uh, synthesis of uh, acetyl choline from acetyl CO8 and choline in presence of uh, choline acetyl transferase gives us an idea to design some compounds as uh, inhibitors. So this acetylcholine in the biological system uh, gets hydrolyzed by enzymes like uh, acetylcholine esterase and plasma butyrylcholine esterase. So these two enzymes are the inhibitors for the acetylcholine. So one important aspect is its synthesis. If you block its synthesis at some site, acetylcholine will not be synthesized. That is one possible way of inhibiting it. And the other one is uh, the enzymes like acetylcholine esterase mainly followed by the butylcholine esterase, butylcholine esterase, right? Butylcholine esterase in plasma are also responsible for the inhibition of acetylcholine. So these two also, also need it. So in our uh, next discussion I shall take up the uh, chemistry part and other aspects for our discussion. So in today we had a brief discussion on the the ANS and uh, that is sympathetic and parasympathetic and neurotransmitters, different types of neurotransmitters and uh, acetylcholine mainly which is very essential I mean very essential for our understanding because it has got some uh, some observations in uh, some of the organs like heart, blood flow, visceral organs then uh, uh, GIT peristaltic moment. We also see in the synthesis of acetylcholine. Okay, thank you.